Hi there, thanks for tuning in. I am going to be doing a little experiment, um, something I've never done before. I'm going to film myself painting a picture, and I don't even know what it's going to be. I'm just going to be playing. And yep, I got my canvas all prepped here, and I got my paints and everything, and, and it's a beautiful day, and I'm just going to get into the groove, and I'm going to take you along in that journey, and you can watch me paint. Hopefully it will induce some sort of ASMR sort of uh, sensations and it will be relaxing to watch, kind of like Bob Ross style, but my style. So uh, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. We're going to start with some Candium Yellow. I believe this is one of the colors that Bob Ross used to actually use. We've got some Candium Red. I'm feeling we need to do some oranges for sure. two colors, see what we come up with. So I'm just gonna whoop, put a little bit right there. I, uh, as you can tell, I don't really <laughs> clean this up. Oh, this has never been opened before. Okay. You know what? I saw another one in there that wasn't... I'm going to do this one. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Oh, I just put arm right around that candy and red. Just set that there. And I think I'm gonna take no, we're gonna do this really soft one and a half to, um, inch brush. Get a little bit wet. Definitely have some paper towels to kind of it down with. I'll set that there. And I'm just kind of okay. and we're just going to be brave and we're just going to jump right in there. And I'm just making big strokes. hairs in there. Ah, a bit of I want. Okay, just load up your brush like so. Just come right on in here. Just be brave. Just play. I don't know if 
I showed you, but I laid a bunch of newspaper around me, so that way it doesn't get paint everywhere. A lot of people over the years have said, you know, how do you come up with those ideas? How do you get those pictures in your head? And honestly, it just I just kind of play. I love to observe nature a lot, for sure. I appreciate natural beauty, but you know, a lot of these pictures that I come up with are just from my head. I just see them and I want to put them out on paper or canvas or something. And we're gonna leave it kind of dry. I want more yellow in here. I'm really feeling that this needs to have a lot of yellow. Yellow's got a great energy to it. It's also the color of the solar plexus chakra. We're just going off to the side here. And then jump right in. One thing that's good to know about painting is that you know you can always go darker, but it's really hard to go lighter. Like you have to start clean and kind of work out. Because once it gets with that dark color, it just you know, it's not that light anymore. I wonder how Bob Ross came up with things to talk about. <laughs> it's weird, like painting and trying to entertain at the same time. Maybe I just won't talk. Maybe I just won't talk. I don't always need to have something to say. Get into the flow and just create sometimes. Okay. I feel like. What do you think? I feel like we need a little bit more yellow. Also, sometimes, too, a little trick is to dab off that excess dark color when you're trying to go lighter again. It's another trick I learned. Nice and bright yellow now. I'm just going to go in here. And... There we go. These colors kind of remind me of, like, a mango. way it's you know ripening and some parts are more like a deep orange some are like yellow or green definitely going to have some green in here I'll put some trees okay we're going to let that sit for a little bit and get that color out Ooh, look at that it kind of looks like pog juice <laughs> beautiful I like it actually On the, on the ground here. Okay. We're going to set that aside for a minute. I want now. Let's see. I have another one and a half inch brunch that's clean. But I don't think we have that. Let's see here. you know what this is really fun a little tip we'll do that later
Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely want some of that. So we have a, it's a type of blue. I actually, to be honest with you, do not know how to pronounce that. I will write it in the um, information below though. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of this in here. It's just a really nice, beautiful blue. We're going to put that. And we're going to add, let's see, let's do a little more. A little bit more. And we're going to add just a touch of black, just the tiniest amount. Also going to add a really dark hue of a candy and red. It's almost like a magenta. I'm going to take this little uh, mixing knife here, and I'm, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to swirl it all together. brush here and I'm just gonna come right along here and I'm gonna make a little line I'm not married to it though I can change it if I want I don't even want a break there People get really scared sometimes when they're painting, or at least I do, because I'm like, oh, what if I mess up? But the thing is, is if you just let go and you're just playing for the sake of the fact that you do love to paint, here, I'm just going to cover that in. You can just keep making new decisions. You don't have to stay committed to anything. You can just keep playing and let it kind of unfold. Art is definitely about taking risks and not being attached to the outcome of those risks. Just don't be afraid of the choices. You can always make new ones. And if you really hate it, you could always paint all over it and start all over again. <laughs> so that's a wonderful thing. And you know, I always used to watch Bob Ross and I just loved how he would paint mountains, so I'm going to try loading up my little knife here. Get a good amount of color, and I'm just going to try making some mountains just for fun. I used to do a lot like that. Oh, that's fun. so fun. I hope you get the chance to experience this. It's super fun. Just playing. Okay. Wow, that was so fun. Okay. I also use more of this. I'm just going to keep filling in a little bit more. 
Why not? You know? I want to save that because I have a feeling I'm going to put some water down here and definitely some trees. Definitely some trees. leftover cheesecloth here. Let's put that there. And then I want some white. I think I have some good white. Titanium white. That's the best kind of white, in my opinion. I'm getting low on it, though. <laughs> I don't think this is going to end up being ASMR. It's more just... This girl tried to paint like Bob Ross, but it was really comical and kind of awkward. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, mix that in a little really interesting multifaceted sort of oh man I don't know how he kept that holding still I think there's definitely more of a con technique to it I have not mastered it I am totally just making a mountain this way for the very first time. See, I made a little mistake there. Now I have a chance to... fun technique to play with if you haven't tried it yet. We're just going to come along here. Just got to make some lines. Now I think it would be a good time to come back in with that brush that you were using before and just kind of sweep across. Don't be attached how it is. Just kind of play. I feel like we need some more white. More white. And you know, because there's so much yellow, we have to have some yellow hues in there, so we gotta add more candy and yellow. And see how that's coming along. Clean as a whistle. And we're gonna mix those a little bit, because I'm not 100% sure if I want that. See how that's gonna turn out. Just add a little right here. Oh, that's fun. Fun, fun. Oh. Do we have a full running stream here? I don't know. Oh, 
let's add some more water in and kind of clarify this. Just kind of drag it across the canvas. Have fun with it. Have some negative voices coming and they're like, no, stop, you're ruining it. <laughs> uh, but we're just having fun. I have another plan that I want to do back here. Okay. more paper towels. I'll be right back. And I need new water. Clean water, very important to keep your water clean. I want, I want like a black green. Add black, just a touch. Blue and yellow make green. <laughs> Actually, there's a little in there already. And I'm going to mix it. Mix, mix, mix. I'm going to add some of that to my mountain. Let's see how I feel about it. Kind of fun. Kind of an interesting technique. Kind of adds a cool effect. That's a little too gray. That's okay. We can fix that. We can do it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try again. So, so you're seeing, this was the original color I had mixed right here. And it was too gray. So I'm going over here with the blue and the yellow, and we're going to just mix that. I'm just going to do it with my fan brush. Why not? Why not? And just load up your fan brush. And we're just going to go right in here. I used to do like a, a line and then go... Just 
bud in there. Don't even worry about it. Now we need some more of that gray. Come back in from the bottom. And just work your way up. I'm going to add more layers and just kind of keep playing with this. It's just fun. Don't worry about it being a masterpiece. Just do it because it's fun. There's plane outside. Nice. Oh, I'm going to add a little bit of a yellow highlight. Just kind of helps it come out more. We're just having fun. We're just playing. Let's do one. I'm gonna come back in here and do more. So that you do. Almost looks like there's snow or something. It's too too white here personally for me. I want more yellow. water and you press it down and just kind of soaks in. It's too muddy. Okay. Oh, look at that bright, bright yellow. Holy smokes. <laughs> in here we have some more trees I've been having lots of visions of more and more trees in my dreams mm. put more in here display We are not attached to an outcome. We're just playing. I had no idea what was going to come out. I had ideas. Like I knew I wanted something with water, something with warm colors. Definitely want the trees. Like I specifically wanted to do this kind of motion. Kind of lonely. A little more sparse. Sometimes, you know, I've noticed when you go in the forest, there's always a couple that, you know, they just look like they're dead. Like something bad happened, and they weren't able to recover. Still love them. They're still a part of the tree community. Still a part of our lives.
I've been reflecting a lot about what's going on with COVID, as I'm sure many of you are. I'm going to just put a little something in here. I've been reflecting a lot about what we're going to be learning from this experience and what's going on in our world right now. And I really think Mother Nature is fighting back from all of the crap we've put her through. She has been through a lot. And we didn't listen and didn't listen. And now... She's like, all right, you guys, hold my beer. I tried to warn you. told you to stop taking so many showers, eating less meat, and cutting down my trees, and now I'm going to fight back. It's kind of fun. Oh, no, there's another hair in here. Well, I guess it's a part of the painting now. That's okay. I'm going to tilt this more so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm feeling... What am I going to put right here? What do you think? What do you think needs to go there? It's got to be dark. Whatever it is. I'm going to add more black. I'm just going to just kind of mix in here and we're going to see what we come up with. Probably a dark gray. <laughs> Gonna load up our brush and it's you see there's like some blue and white and we're just gonna go Taking you along with me, we're gonna figure out what we're doing here together. If anything, I hope that it helps you let go of any negative beliefs that you might have that you're not creative or that you can't paint. Because I believe that there is an artist inside everyone. Oh, that's fun. It's kind of Come kind of along here. I believe anyone can be an artist. Not everyone has found their niche, though. And I think the best way to figure out it is just to play and experiment. You never know. You can just teach yourself all kinds of things. I've known people that were in their 50s that, you know, just started learning how to play the piano just because they wanted to and why not you know they say that if you keep playing it will actually help keep your mind young you keep learning and growing it can help prevent alzheimer's and dementia and such illnesses I want to come in here. This looks like a nice brush. I'm also just kind of going based on what I'm gravitated to. Like certain brushes or certain colors will just speak to me, so to speak, and just kind of go with that. I want more black interesting like these colors you know there's really a lot of bright stuff and a lot of warmth but there's also a lot of darkness too and I mean that's the balance of life right there's a lot of beauty and a lot of sadness so I just put some more blue and black on top and I put 
and grab this little brush here. It just felt right. I'm just going to kind of play. <laughs> we'll fill in this gap that's here. Or maybe actually have let me get my fan brush back out here. Maybe we have some friends that are hanging out here. There But the thing that's really hard about for it right now is that I'm gonna put a little embankment right here. The thing that's really hard is that I'll, you know, we have so many ways to keep in touch now, like with on the phone or um, no, that's too symmetrical. We're gonna put a big one in here. It's just kind of hanging out. Um, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. We are very separated from each other. And there's so many ways to keep in touch. Like we could call each other, we can do um, Skype. We have so many different ways of keeping in touch, but we still feel really, really alone. And it's because we're not able to see each other and spend time with each other. People are scared. I think there needs to be one that's hanging out back here too. It's just Feel too. There needs to be something right here holding this guy up. So I'm taking some of that black and I'm coming back over here. I'm gonna add some more because that got a little too dark down there. And he needs something that he is supporting him. This big guy up here. It's kind of a nice flow to it. That little blue. That's fine.
It'll start out dark here, and then as we go up, it gets lighter and lighter, right? That's an idea. very Bob Ross-esque, I will say. It's just totally, when I was younger, I was like nine, 10, elementary school. I would sit there and watch Bob Ross paint while I was getting ready, while I was eating cereal and getting ready for school in the morning. And I remember even then I had that ASMR kind of experience. Like I just found it really calming and, um, Relaxing. in there. And then I like to do something that's a little fun. People have mixed feelings about this, but I like to go put a little bit of gold in my painting sometimes, and I feel that this one is worthy of it. So I'm just using this, um, it's actually fabric paint, and it's gold glitter paint. And I like to take it, and we're gonna take just a regular brush. We're gonna, actually, you know what, we're gonna do this dry, one and a half brush, brush. We're gonna dip it in here. And I'm just gonna come in and just put little gold strokes in the sky. And, oh, it's pretty. It reminds me of stars. You won't be able to fully appreciate it until it's dry. But um, it just adds a little something to the painting. Makes it a little more mystical almost some in the water too, why not? Kind of smooth out that bank, adds a little gold in there. Our tree didn't like that. It's like, no, you forgot about me. So we're gonna go back in there and bring them back out. <laughs> Sally. I said if you make mistakes or you don't like something that you did you can just go back in and fix it you don't have to be attached to the painting you can just keep changing it if you wanted to Twigs. Like, hey, we're small, but we're here too. I'm liking that more and more. There's some parts that I'm like, eh, I could have done better there, but that's okay because we're just playing. And if you are too hard on yourself, then you're never really going to create anything that you like. 
And it's also important to know that there's always going to be haters. Hate is going to hate. And they're going to say rude things. Or say that you're not really an artist. And the worst thing you can do is actually believe them. So don't. Easier said than done. I'll be honest. That's, that's not easy. That's fun. There's too much black right here too, and it's too thick. We need to break it up somehow. I'm gonna come back in with my green. And save the day. I'm gonna add it in with the gold. Our tree needs gold too. We, I want that tree to stand out. So I'm gonna mix blue, green, and gold. It's a special tree and I want it to outshine a little bit more. I want there to be like a beacon of hope in this painting. Come on. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, here we go. Just want to touch. So again, we got the blue and green and the gold, and we're going to load up our brush. Oh, that's fun. Less color is really going to stand up. We might have to redistribute it throughout so it's more even. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that green. It's one of my favorite colors, actually, like that. I don't know if you'd call it teal or turquoise. Probably turquoise. I like this because it adds more green back into the painting. It was feeling a little too dark. And I don't, I don't want that kind of feeling. When people look at that and go, like, ugh, that's disturbing. But, um, yeah, that was fun. Just kind of pops out. And I want there to be some more of that too. Add a little water. And get that wet and then pop in some little twigs here and there. More like even like little shrubs actually. I'm looking for shrubs. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Okay. I'm going to add one more. draws your eye back and you're like, oh, what? There's some trees over there, too? How about that? <laughs> okay. And you know what? At this point, I'm looking at that, and I think that that's more than good enough. 
So I'm going to go ahead and sign this. And oh, you know what? I'm gonna add a little Okay. All right. Normally I would sign over in this corner, but it's like really muddied, and I don't think it will stand out very well. So I'm gonna get a white. My titanium white. No, I lied. I'm gonna do the gray. That's more than sufficient. It's this really, really light gray with this white right here, so we don't use up more paint. Just load a thin brush. I'm gonna do my signature. It's all about that K, about that K. Kind of a messed up signature but oh well okay so this is it this is what we painted together and i'll put all of the colors down below if you want to try and recreate that All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. I enjoyed taking you on this journey with me and I hope you uh, feel more inspired and creative. And final message, if you didn't hear me say it already, is to just not be attached to the outcome and just paint because you want to paint because you want to play and have fun. So thanks for tuning in. I hope it was relaxing and entertaining for you. I kind of put my own spin on it. And um, just take care of yourself, stay healthy, and maybe um, if you like my channel and what I'm doing, feel free to go ahead and subscribe or like this or share it with other people. If you have any requests about something that you'd like me to paint or another um, divine animal card reading that you'd like me to do, um, feel free to message me and let me know if you're interested in that. And um, yeah, just enjoy and have a great day. Bye-bye.